Thank you, Mr. President, uh, my distinguished colleagues. I also today have the honor and privilege on this day of um, this day of uh, disinfectants and deodorants <laughs> to, to look at this um, budget. Well done. Mr. President, this is indeed a budget. Sorry, just a second. Chief Whip, you play a role as timekeeper this, this uh, afternoon. Five. Go ahead, Senator Berry. Thank you, Mr. President. This, like I said, is a budget that we like the French will say, plus a show, plus a meme shows. The more things change, the more they remain the same. I have not seen anything good or different or absolutely different from what has always happened here. A budget of 7.3 trillion and a capital expenditure of 2.24 trillion and a borrowing of 2.4 trillion. If we are going to borrow as much as what we are going to spend on the capital expenditure, are we really having a budget or we are having something that we are playing around with? So, Mr. President, distinguished colleagues, something needs to give here and I want to say A particular type of um, uh, adage says that in the country of the blind, that the one-eyed man is king. But one very good musician in Nigeria, called Fela Nicola Pokuti, asked this question. If everybody is blind, how would they know that their one-eyed man actually has an eye? <laughs> so it looks to me, sir, today, that we are going in a direction of the blind leading the blind. And I'm going to explain it, sir. And I'm just going to take only one example, the State House budget. In the State House budget, it says here, 123 million to buy catering equipment and uh, materials. I don't know. Did they throw away the one they did last year? They spent 94 uh, uh, million last year to buy catering equipment. They're coming back again to buy another catering equipment. What are they doing in that uh, uh, state house that they're always buying catering equipment? I don't know. Something in the state house budget is even very, very funny. They have welfare for 209 million. Honorarium and city allowance for 556 million. And we want to ask if you're going to spend 765 million for honorarium and welfare, is that a university where they are paying uh, people to come and sit there? I thought that is a state house. I don't understand this type of uh, provision that is in there. So we must also ask ourselves for those in that state house who were claiming that we in this uh, National Assembly were buying vehicles. You have, there's a provision for almost, uh, how many? Five BMW cars. And they say we don't want, we don't need vehicles, but they are buying for themselves. What are they doing with it? Of course, five Toyota Land Cruisers. That same place. And we're going around and asking. They're also buying computers and equipment. And we want to ask, every year, Every year, this our budget will come with computers. Now we have more than 200 million for computers. Our computer, what are they doing with the computers? The one they bought last year, did they throw them away? And so that's why I said that the more things change, the more they look the same. And we want to know who is leading who here. And that's why I'm asking, Mr. Leader, I have seen your every good thing that you have written here. And you have to come back to come and tell Nigerians this thing that you have written here that this budget is designed to stimulate. How are you going to stimulate by driving away private uh, uh, sector? You want to borrow? 
thirty percent of this budget. Who will lend this money to you? And if there's no borrowing, that means that no this budget will not also be implemented. And so we now come down to the fact of implementation. Of course, if you are unable to get any money, how are you going to implement? And then we are going to end up again coming back next year saying the same thing. And so, Mr. President, distinguished colleagues, I've said again, and let me reiterate, I have seen nothing new in this budget. I have seen exactly the same thing that was happening last year. Thank you, Mr. President.